SG that have taken the middle of the map away. They've taken oh. the new cat, and they were trying to apply some pressure there. Rarker's the first to drop. The other remaining member, Will, heads back towards the site as TSM gets the spike down. And again, it's, it's been it's been pretty like lax from BBG so far. They had nobody on the site. They were entirely playing retake. And now Sabrosa, who took care of the initial flank, is now doing a bit of flanking of his own as he makes his way back. And I don't think it's been checked. We got free reign to blow up this round. And retake comes in through heaven. BBG already in tatters. Critical falls, and now it's just close to the back. But in heaven, finding one, finding two on a ward L and cover. Make no that way. three. Just trying to get no Drone's not gonna let him get past this mark, but that is a <laughs> valiant F. With that weapon in the previous series, see if he's able to get anything out of it this time. No, that piece of Rosa. He's able to get something going early on. A great flash to understanding BBG's just on the other side of the smoke. They try to play a bit aggressively here to oh. kind of stick it to him, and again, the classic is just showing to be. Let's see whether or not he can find out if he's correct. It'll be difficult. Yeah, he's not even able to oh, spin him out there. As you mentioned it earlier, the flashes are going to follow up as well. As Critical takes care of Cutler. Wardell trades it out. But they haven't fully committed onto the site. Now they're going to make their way on there. BBG has some decent strength with which they sh they're going to attempt to take the site back. But again, Critical is just so weak. Will certainly worse for wear as TSM hunker down on the back of the site and wait for BBG's next move. I have so many questions as to the defense of BBG in this round, but the folks on the retake now will. Down to 30 HP. Ups out the Leer and pushes in. I'll lead the charge on the retake. And Bjorn takes first contact over at Sidewalk. Oh. Drone fights two with a shock dart. It's looking it, like Raps, Doug. Yeah, it certainly is. Again, critical so weak, and Marker is still run. here. Markers will think uh, just just a classic, and this time there's not going to be any magic coming out of that as the lockdown has been used. Poach was the last one on the site. He's going to drop as well as now Will and Bjor. Now just Bjor. A bit more patient here, a bit more cautious on how they play this round. Down with the close middle of the map again. Sabrosa gets two, and I got like Sabrosa's just not missing <laughs> right now. He gets a third. Drone's going to get the last one, but I think uh, we'll take a look at the stop the bleeding as best as he can. The Cosmic Divide's going to come out. Sabrosa's just, just going to go raise a bunch of noise. He eventually drops without gaining anything, and now they're just going to pull off, right? Like, you just saw a couple of members of BBG slowly take a step back, but they know the hit is towards A. Poach is already taken across the middle of the map. Cutler's on the site, and he's going to get the spike down. Now it's going to be on BBG. Again, from a position of strength, which is the first time we've been able to say that all map are going to try to take this bad boy back. The lockdown's going to come out, and of course, it's going to be countered instantly by Drone's ultimate, and the lockdown goes down, and your follows with it! Hayes is also going to get caught! Oh my gosh, Hayes gets four! Poach is alone in a 1v4. This looks so good! It looks so good, but my gosh, TSM can do no wrong! Be a bloody one, folks, at 5v5. Got a couple of members on the side of BBG checking the middle of the map. Will's going to be the one to take or consider the scenic route all the way around. They're going to push in through tree. Meanwhile, Wardell playing back on site. He's got that operator. Arker's going to look, look to do a bit of his own damage. But really, they may not get a chance to do anything at all. Poach is in a great spot, though. Poach, good for three. He's going to drop Cutler doing a bit of his own as Wardell had a player in his lap but isn't able to land the shot. BBG finally find themselves on the board. An extremely fortunate for duels. That's a good sign for BBG, but Hayes with an ego challenge over there at mid on a critical. He wins one, but with another. And things are falling apart here for BBG, Doug. Oh, it's interesting. So Hayes has used the lockdown as Cutler makes his trip back to pick up the spike. Drone's on the site. He knows it's free. They're able to get on there for really nothing as Poach gets detained. But they should be able to get on to A just fine. The lockdown not going to cause any permanent damage. As BBG, with the numbers disadvantage, are going to try to take this site back. Well, using a couple of leers early on to try to give them entry, give them a bit of room to work with. A bit of air. Free drone party. Oh my gosh! Drone knew he was there! Poach, good for two! Poach looking for another Poach, not able to land it! Gamers a couple of times uh, in this map, and really one of the key reasons why they've been able to get the round wins that they have. An early drop off, you're on critical. Only two members of BBG that remain is TSM. Still in powerful position, right? The, the 
Hunter Shiri is going to come out from critical. They're at a little space, but Wardell's wise to it. He's just going to take care of critical nice and easy. Hayes gets the third. 10 to half and find themselves in a bit of a back foot. Hayes has dropped. BBG have gotten on to B. They've taken their post plants. Critical in a great spot here to get one. Not able to get the second. Some damage has been dealt to TSM. The spike continues to take away. So there's a spotting where Arker is trying to deal the damage through it. And he is able to do just that. My gosh, drone. Now how about that for an aim lab flick of the day, baby. TSM take the site back. Not really have much of a choice. They buy up a couple of weapons. Spectre Stingers. Bjor had a bulldog. And he's the first one to drop. As Wardell aggressively peeks up? around the corner. And gets, I mean. What? Well, yeah, I, like. Am I watching? That's just not fair. <laughs> hey, he's just collecting some heads, man. Full sprint. Mid, mid moonwalk. Right? He's able to take care of it. Wardell again. Dealing more damage on the other side of the map. That's already three on the round for him. Cutler gets the last TSM. Get to map point. And take some of that space back. Critical taking care of Hayes. And for TSM, as we as we've really said with BBG a couple of times, and this is the first time we're going to say this, if I'm not mistaken, from TSM, is oh, this is a pistol round for them, right? All they have is Sheriff Wardell's Marshal. And while we've seen that the Sheriff can be I mean, filthy, uh, in its own right. This may not be as easy as you would think, but my gosh, Wardell's Marshall. I mentioned earlier in the series just how good he is with it. He's already gotten a couple of kills. Into a 2v2, not able to land the third. It was there. He walked into his crosshair. Critical gets the spike down. Now, Cutler has a rifle. He has upgraded. He also has the Cosmic Divide, so Lex, he can, he can do this. He spots Poach. Doesn't land the shot. Critical just down. An armor. They swing at the same time. Critical gets four. Again, that was Dill was when he was in back boathouse with a marshal in hand. It's just like you can envision almost every single one of those frags going his way. Critical even walked directly into the line of sight, directly into the scope reticle of Wardell in the closing moments of that frag. But really missing another. BBG get onto the site. The Seekers are going to be used out of Sub Rosa. Critical's looking to get the spike down. Wardell down. Operator not in tow. As the Empress is online for Will. Parker's using the Blade Storm as well. Critical still hasn't been able to get the spike down. The Hunter Shrew's going to come out on top of the Cosmic Divide. There's nothing there! Sub Rosa with four! And TSM's already here, man. It's a party on A, and everyone was invited. As it's just going to be a straight up 5v5, Sub Rosa's going to be the last one to join. But by the time he gets here, the round may be over. Wartel already good for Bjor, who was causing serious problems. On to TSM as he had gotten three in the round, and as quickly as everything erupted, it all comes to a screeching halt. There are only two members remaining on both sides. Will looking to get the spike down. That's just that. Sabrosa with the flash. Sabrosa with the shot. And the kill the curve boss coming out from the other side. It's just enough out of Will to get Ultimate Orb for Will is just one off in front of back. And actually, as I say that. He gets a uh, slow peek by Hayes, but with the curveball out, he has nothing to do, but big poach for some help. Comes in just a bit late. And the kill so far in the round for TSM, but just on Classics, Ghost, and the Sheriff. Hope oh. for anything can get here. And actually, Shock Dart might do the trick. Well, is on the flank as well as Bjorn and Fabrosa are going to dance. Meanwhile, the site goes heavily in favor of BBG as Rarker is going to be able to get the spike down. Sabrosa with the Sheriff. Planted. Mentioned the dance. Goes in favor of Sabrosa. He's going to upgrade the weapon as well. Drop things down to 1v1. We've talked about Rocker and how he needs to perform. He's going to get a chance at it here. And Sabrosa wins the 1v1. DSM win the... Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I mean... Statement made. <laughs> Statement that, made. That is... You're right. They can go in through Garage. Try to wreck in with Hazed. Or they push into the aggression that's been taken. Here comes the other running back. It's been used, Wardell. Again, the pressure across the middle of the map. He gets the second one, but he drops. As things calm down to a 3v3. And it's a great spot on that flank there, Cutler was, but it's actually Drone who gets the kill. And again, for BBG, like, they don't have very many options. They were suffocated from the beginning of ultimates like this. It's because you've got to make something happen. Sabrosa, he's going to drop. There was the weapon, the one weapon. That I mentioned is able to provide a little bit of help. He's going to upgrade it as well. Drone not able to land anything. Barker's jumping blade storm takes care of him. Critical's op does it. Or excuse me, Sheriff. 
on Bjor to take care of the two members that are on the flank as the spike goes down. Bjor one, not able to get the second as Cutler trades him out. Arthur is going to have to deal with this Aldrone. He will get tagged. So suddenly defender oh spawn choke point. Actually, he's going to contest anyway. He finds four health. Blade Storm offline. The neural theft is going to be used as well. As it's a 2v2, both remaining members of TSM are so weak. Critical, good for one. Hayes trades it out. Will wins the one. Will the tip of the spear surely you curveball? No. Hey, <laughs> they just walk into TSM's crosshairs. Wardell's able to get two with the judge. And BBG just find themselves down to poach. Man. It's like they finally, you know, be hopping around. While, while you see Bjor waiting to see if someone's going to push in from A, but you see TSM rotating towards C garage area, understanding that's where the play is. <gasps> oh my gosh. That was a 2K that just got squirrel wheeled. Unfortunate, but Sarosa's still finding two. And Poach. Poach, Poach is going to drop as well, and now the spike is, after after all of that, with 35 seconds left, Critical's left alone, the spike's nowhere near the site. He finds himself in a 1v3. 30 seconds left. Man. I really know where Wardell is going to be at, and showing how powerful that can be, spike finding down. two already. There is a little bit of a site opening here to get the spike down, but yeah. Will's making plays. Well, so that was a huge kill because there was really BBG were not in a position to even get get close to the spike, much less get the spike down. That kill certainly opens things up for him. A 2v3 in favor of TSM. While Sabros is up tight, he's got his run it back. The two remaining members are taking the scenic right around. There's a run it back. Sabrosa looking for some info. Hopefully try to get a kill the rest of the way. While again, the two remaining members look to apply pressure up C-Long and Sabrosa. You already get so much value out of that ultimate because of that kill on to Will. Now it's Rarker who's left alone in a brutal spot, but I love, I mean, TSM is, they're patiently respecting it, right? Take it while BBG say, fine, we're just going to mosey our way up towards B. Oh, Sabros is fine. So Sabros is spotted. Bjor and he cleans him up, takes him out. Critical's just on the other side. He's going to get spotted. He has to back up. The Cosmic Divide coming out of Cutler as well is going to cross things up some more. One dead. As a spike. Tries to continue and take away. Dash comes through. Drone. Good for one. Robot coming out from Sabrosa. No, he's not able to land the shots on the coach. Drone's just going to sit on it. Coach keeps making it hurt even more with an opening off frag. Run it back. Oh. And the Hunter's Fury used. Sabrosa getting up close and personal, taking care of Critical Color, trying to do the same. But no, it's Sabrosa able to back him up and take care of the remaining member. Wardell using the blade storm, not able to land. We'll see if he has more luck with the operator. No. And he's down to 23 health. Has to back up. So Rosa flashed. Gets the third kill. On a heroic mission here to try to win the round for BBG. He's already good for one. 1v2. So Rosa has the ult as well. And it's not going to matter. The defuse is going to come through. TSM get... But there's two members of TSM standing right behind him. Yeah, once again, round after round... It just seems like BBG is getting bullied across the map. And if it's not Wardell tanking the hot hands, it's Abroza just using his ult and again aggressively really bullying BBG around. They've already gotten two kills in this round. And they've taken so much space away. BBG again find themselves in a spot where they don't have very many options, right? There, are, there aren't very many places they can go with this thing. Spike down, attacker spawn. The unfortunate part of this is... is in terms of the the round around, oh, and he's so gritty, he's so confident. He's like, I know you're here. Just get a curveball out, and make the able to plant the spike. You see Wardell instantly, as soon as he got onto the site, with clear room for drone, he backed up to make sure there was no one on the lurk, and he's not going to find anyone because the fight's on the site, and he may not be needed. His drone's already good for three with the frenzy. Critical trades him out. Will looking to out a bit more as he gets another one. Critical as well. They're going to be able to stick this. TSM's going to have to go. Wardell's in a great spot. They don't know he's there. They don't know he's there. Wardell 1, Wardell 2, a clutch. Really, as you mentioned, it, it kind of feels like curtains. You see BBG has forced up. 
bit here as they try to make something happen critical. They're able to get one. Gonna get traded out. Rarker's looking to make some magic happen of his own with the Marshal. I think he's already been good for one. Oh, a drone. Five HP. And the thing is, the spike is down. It's down on the site. So TSM's in a spot where they choose to play the spike if they want to, but no. Why play the spike if you can just aggressively go at BBG and clean them up instead? And Wilson remaining. a decent spot here. Yeah, that's a big kill because the last remaining member's drone. Cordell are both a couple of points, one point each away from getting their ultimates online. Sabroza has his and instantly uses it, looking to go aggressive, walks right past the drone, takes care of critical. Lil is the last remaining member. He has this has been a statement from the very beginning, right from ascent up until now. TSM is is demanding that people understand that they are back, that the last series that we just saw them in a couple moments ago was a fluke and that they are not to be taken lightly. They're taking C once more, no resistance met yet, another 5v5 post plan here, Doug. Critical does have the Hunter's Fury, he's gonna show up just a bit late, may even get spotted out, no, the drone was pulled back from drone. Yep, oh man, that Again. was their one silver lining, and Sabrosa's there! He just sniffs it out and cleans him up! Drone's going in aggressive, drone good for two! BBG down to two members left. Hopes, greens on this player, and 